Welcome to your practice. Let's start in a downward facing dog. As I move through this video, you'll see my mouth talking. I tried to do this live, but the voice and the sound was just awful. So I'm doing a voiceover so that you can hear me. So as you're in your downward facing dog, just begin to really focus on your breath. Just coming into the moment and drawing yourself into this moment by connecting, merging, and following and feeling into the breath. shoulders come down the back lift your right leg bend the knee open the hip inhale here maybe circle the knee if that would feel good to you or you can stay nice and still just getting a nice stretch all along the right side of the body gaze forward draw the right knee inhaling the knee toward the chest place the shin all the way down onto the floor Begin to lean the body weight toward the front of your mat. Float the back leg nice and light. Pull and draw the belly in. Pull the knee in toward the chest. Use the hand or not to place the foot right in front of your right knee. You're drawing the heel of that front foot toward the knee and lifting all the way up. Finding your balance here by scooping the tailbone toward the front of the mat. Place the left hand inside of that front foot, right arm lifts. Keep the gaze down if your balance is challenged or you can gaze upward. Breathing in, pushing that front leg gently into the back of the arm and the back of the arm into the front leg. Place the left hand outside the left foot. Keep the gaze steady. You're coming into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So gaze is nice and steady. Float the back leg. You can use a block. There's more than one way to place that block. And draw the tailbone up toward the navel. Keep the gaze steady, long through the right side. Keep the gaze where it is. Set that foot back down you're coming into goddess pose so sit nice and low you're just here for just one second and then inhale facing the back of the mat anjane asana crescent pose place and bring the hands and palms together drop the palms back behind your head lift and lengthen the heart up toward the sky elbows drawing up toward the sky you're using the back of the head to gently open yourself even further into those arms stretch the arms all the way up you're coming into revolved half moon place the hand down again you can use a block float your left leg you're twisting the body you're getting long through the right side of the body so the right hips going away from the right shoulder draw the left knee in toward the left tricep straighten the left leg place the heel down onto the floor you're kind of in a runner's lunge right knee is bent inhale pull and draw the belly inward send the hips up and back you can use the hands gripping them to get yourself a little further or you can challenge your balance and flexibility by just bringing the hands and palms to your heart center and breathing. Start to lean forward, straighten through both legs. You're coming in warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Breathing here. Place the foot back down. You're coming into plank pose. Step the left foot back. High to low push up. Squeeze the elbows in. Drop to your knees. Send your hips back. Round your spine a lot. Hips draw all the way down toward the wrist. Push into the earth. Upward facing dog. Urvat Svanasana. Pushing back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog breathing get long through the body let the heart sink down toward the floor when you're ready left leg stretches up gazing forward bend the knee inhale exhale opening the hip feeling into the body allowing anything heavy to just drop away square the hips gaze forward pull the left knee into the chest Place the left shin down onto the floor. Inhale here. Exhale. Shift the weight forward. Float the back leg. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the knee into the chest. 
Bring that foot all the way through. Even if you have to use your hand, place the right foot just in front of that left knee. You're twisting us slightly here, right hand down, gazing upward, and a slight rounding of the low back. Breathe. Inhale here, place the right hand outside the right foot, gaze down, you're coming into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, float the back leg, open the left side of the body up as much as you can, up toward the sky, breathing here, and then placing that foot all the way back down, keep the gaze steady, goddess pose, once again, sink into the hips, Turn and face the back of the mat, Anjane Asana, just doing the other side. Bring palms to touch, drop the hands down toward the earth, lengthen and lift. Imagine your arms lifting up, up, up. You're getting a nice deep stretch all along the front of the body. Breathing here. Inhale back through, coming into revolved half moon, Parivritta. Ardha Chandrasana. Float the back leg and twist here. Keep lifting up and out through the right hip. Keep lengthening through the left side of the body. Nice full breath. Bring the right knee in toward the chest. You're rounding the low back. Float that leg through. You're hovering, placing the heel down. Dorsiflex the ankle, getting a stretch into the calf. Use the hands to support you or bring the hands to your heart center. Keep a nice bend in your left knee. Make sure it's drawing toward the midline and breathe. Place the hands down onto the floor. Straighten your right leg. Lean forward. Float the back foot. Warrior three. Arms can be at your heart center down onto the floor or reaching toward the back of the mat. Keep dropping the left hip down to the, toward the floor and place the left leg back towards the back of the mat. Step back, plank pose. Strong, high to low push up. Drop to the knees. Send the hips all the way back, round through the spine. Drop the hips down, inhaling fully all the way up. Resist the earth, draw the shoulders toward the back and push back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Begin to bring both knees down onto the floor, cross the ankles, thread the legs through, straighten the legs, you're coming into a seated forward fold, legs are nice and straight, you're just going to where is you feel a stretch rather than overextending yourself here. Make sure your neck is nice and long and you're folding down. And you're just breathing and softening into those tight spaces. Inhale, come all the way back up, bend through your right knee. Lower body is gently having a little bit of a tuck in it and you're twisting using the left arm to take you deeper into this pose. And protecting the low back again by having a little bit of a tuck in the low back. So a rounding of the low back. Then come all the way back through center, bend through the left knee, sit up nice and tall. See that rounded this, roundedness right there. Use that arm to twist you deeper, making sure that you're still breathing and that you still can breathe. Nice and easy. Coming all the way back through center. If you have a block, begin to place the block underneath your low back. If you do not have a block, then you're going to just come into a bridge pose. So either supported or bridge pose. Toes are facing toward the front of the mat. 
you're using the legs if you'd like to you can straighten the legs and simply relax here and let the body sink down into the earth or I'm going to show you here bridge pose bring the hands together clasp them get the shoulders to come underneath you and you're opening through the clavicles your legs are nice and strong if you're doing this variation you're pushing and resisting into the earth and breathing here and release back down or release your block if you have it draw the knees into your chest give yourself a little hug offer yourself some love being so grateful that you've shown up that you had the will to do this and then just come into your shavasana pose letting yourself rest for as long as you like thank you so much for coming thank you to all the teachers may all beings no peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you.